Question number 18 says, In the figure below, M1 equals 9.5 kilograms and M2 equals 3.5 kilograms. The coefficient of static friction between M1 and the horizontal surface is 0 0.5 and the coefficient of kinetic friction is 0 0.3. So first part, if the system is released from rest, what will the acceleration be? Second part, if the system is set in motion with M2 moving downward, what will the acceleration of the system be? So, here's what we have. We have a table. We have a, a an elaborate pulley system. We have this rope connecting these two weights. This one's labeled M1. This one's labeled M2. This one is said to be 9.5 kilograms. This one is said to be 3.5 kilograms. And so, there... There's um, a force exerted by this downward, and so that force is the force x, we'll call it x1, x1 is equal to 3.5 times 9.8 meters per second. We also have a force x2, um, we're going to call it, we'll call it x2, it, it's either the the friction, the static friction, or the kinetic friction. We're not sure which one yet. We're going to figure that out. And so we, we had to figure out what the, we'll just say the, the equation for friction in general, well, we'll say static friction is equal to the normal force times the coefficient of static friction. The normal force, normal force is um, since there is no angle, it's a direct angle, it's going to be equal to the gravity. So the normal force is equal to mass times 9.8, m times g. So mg ms. So what, what is this going to, to equal? Well, we've got 9.8, um, I'm sorry, 9.5 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared. And it says that the static friction uh, is, uh, what did it say it was? 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 times 9.8 times 9.5 is roughly 46.55 newtons. So going this way, 46.55. Uh, the question is, does that balance out with with this um, with this? So 3.5 times 9.8, and if you're any good at math at all, you could already see that that's not going to um, that's not going to balance out. So this is not going to move. This force is not greater than this force of static friction. So if the system is released from rest, so it's at rest, we let go of it it's not going to move at all. Its acceleration is going to be zero. Now, if it's set into motion, so we, we know that, that Fk equals n times the coefficient of kinetic friction. So all this is going to be the same, and this is going to be different. So we do um, 9.5 times 9.8, and then we times that by 0.3. And we get that the the coefficient of kinetic friction is 27.93 newtons, and so we get a net force of 34.3 minus 27.93, which is a net the force the net force is equal to 6.37 newtons. So with 6.37 newtons, we divide that by our mass, which uh, which is the mass of both objects. So 9.5 plus 3.5, so a mass of 13 kilograms, and we will accelerate at 0 0.49 meters per second squared. So the the main thing to remember is when you divide it by your your mass to get your acceleration it's the mass of m1 plus the mass of m2 
And so if you remember that, no matter what, whether your numbers are the same as mine or different, you're going to get the right answer.